Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, so my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. It's blank because it's How To Tuesday. Oh, yeah. So, Tuesdays, I show you things that I've learned along the years and uh, hopefully makes your paintings that much better or that much better or this much better. <laughs> you never know. Of course, we got to give props to you know who who. He's being a, a little schnook tonight. So, you know, hopefully, maybe, I don't know, he might chime in. You never know. So, there he is. There's the uh, little instigator tonight. He's uh, he's being Mr. Uh, Mr. Noisy Noisy. So, uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't have any control over him, that's for sure. I think he has me trained. Hello, 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 Amanda. How are you doing, sweetheart? And Rochelle is here. Hi, Rochelle. What's going on with you, lovey? And uh, I hope everybody's doing fine. And, um, you know, you're going to get prompted for the stars because those are enabled. You're going to get pro prompted for the uh, PayPal link. I enabled that. Um, you could just X out of it if it's getting in your way. And uh, let me show you my handy-dandy table. Hi, Gail. Hello, 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 Gail. How are you doing, sweetheart? Hi, Kimberly. Kimberly's in the house. Becky. Becky hanging out with us. Hi, Becky. How are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Let me show you my handy-dandy table. All right. Of course, we got the Java. That's the most important. Got my water. I got all sorts of brushes. I'll let you know what I'm using when I'm using it. Same colors every single video. White, yellow, black, red, and a blue. Oh yeah. Hi Diane. Hello, hello, hello Diane. How are you doing tonight? So tonight is uh, ghosts and spirits and all sorts of things. You guys are going to have a sneak peek at... Um, the next painting that's going to be coming up. I'm doing all right, gal. Thank you for asking. Oh, those of you following my make em ups journey. <laughs> Let me give you a little. Ooh, a sparkly tonight. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, 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 Tim. You like the lip? Yeah, this is one of my favorite lip colors, actually. This is, um, this is one once the cooler weather comes and it's fall. Uh, I love having the uh, wine colored lips and, um, you know, all the all those uh, darker colors. Hello, 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 Cindy. How are you tonight? Hi, Gail. Gail sending ghosts. And uh, Helen is going to be a watcher tonight. Hello, 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 Helen. How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm glowing like our ghosts are going to be glowing. <laughs> I do have something in my eye, though. I think it's an eyelash. Um, I'm waiting for it to work its way out. Um, but we'll see what happens. I didn't want to play with it too much, and then I'll, I'd be all, uh, my eyes would be all bloodshot. But um, let me put you guys, uh, thank you, Tammy. Let me put you guys in my handy-dandy holder. All right, so uh, don't, don't, uh, don't start throwing stones. I, uh... This is uh, Jones here. This is only up here for show. <laughs> There's actually a, um, a dirty canvas underneath it that uh, I'm going to paint right over because my uh, Mary is here. Hello, 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 Mary. My gesso project is kind of out of control. So uh, I'm going to try to use up all these uh, old canvases. So we're moving this. I'm painting over this one. I just did, I just put the blank canvas for, uh, beginning the video. Hello, 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 Joanne. How are you doing, doll? Hi, Jill. Flicky Doo is here. Hi, Jill. How are you doing, hon? All right. So, those of you, uh, stars is enabled. The PayPal link is posted. I am going to, um, post the Venmo and the Cash App. Uh, guys, you still have time for the contest, all right? I'm, um, uh, next, uh, so there's no video Friday, there's no party Friday, and, uh, next, uh, Tuesday, I will be announcing the winner, all right? So you have the whole month of September, September's almost over, how exciting is that, right? And, uh, we're gonna, uh, find out the winner of our contest. I've been saving all the screenshots every time you send support of three or more. Um, you like the lighthouse painting? That was a how-to a long time ago. Hello, 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 artist.
Curtis, how are you doing, sweetheart? And, um, yeah, that, that, if you want to, uh, paint the lighthouses, oh, thank you, artist for the stars, you're, you're so sweet. Um, hello, 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 Joanne, I think I got you, yep, I got Jill, I got Joanne, I got artists, artists is sending stars, Gail's love in the lighthouse painting, that was a how-to, um, whew, like forever ago. Oh, thank you so much for the stars, Gail. Thank you. Uh, so three dollars um, or more. Um, private message me your address, name, address, um, what app you used, and uh, screenshot it. And you guys are gonna go into the running for the contest. Like I said, it's all the way up until the end of September. And then Tuesday, I'll be announcing the winner, all right, because I'll, I'll do the project over the weekend. Um, all right, guys, so don't forget, brush set, it could be yours. It's it, I'm giving one away. So uh, get your chances in there while you can, okay, guys? And uh, all of my videos are available for replay. That is on my YouTube channel. I am going to post that now, and then I'm going to get painting because we're going to cover this up. All right, so replays. Ba -ba. I got all the buttons. We did all the buttons. We are totally button uh, taken care of. <laughs> got to do all the buttons. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to cover this up. Okay, so I'm going to start off with uh, blue, black, and white. Blue, black, and white, and I'm grabbing a big boy. He's a one-inch flat. Swirl, tap, dabbing him, right? Swirl, you tap on the side of your cup. Dab on your paper towel in the direction of your bristles, and you want them to be wet but not dripping. And I am grabbing uh, blue, black, and white. Blue, black, and white. All right, there it is. Say goodbye. Goodbye, lighthouse. Goodbye. Um, so, I have... Um, so, there's no, uh, there's no event um, this Friday. All right, no paint party. You ladies are going to have to find another way to spend your Friday evening because I have a um, I have an event where I'm going to get to do uh, face painting. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to be doing face painting that night. Um, one of the uh, local um, like charities or support groups, I guess. I guess you call it a support group is um, doing a movie night for the kids of the uh, families that they help support and um, they want a face painter to be there just to add to the fun so that's what I'm going to get to do um, sometimes I absolutely love love what I do I put that as a tagline um, that's like my last tagline on all of my posts my last hashtag um, you know, there's nothing um, to see a kid's face once you show them the face paint that's on them. Or even an adult, you know, even an adult, um, you know, because I do uh, the body art on the adults, too. Even on the adults, it's like, I don't know, it's just so cool. I got like a smudge there. I don't know why. Um, all right, so uh, blue, black, and white. Blue, black, and white. So, um... Anyway, the last couple videos, you guys have seen me cover stuff up, and, and that's because uh, my, um, my pile of canvases that are waiting for gesso is just out of control. It's just out of control, and uh, I have to, um, <laughs> I, I must have, like, uh, this how-to, I don't know, how long ago was it? It was a long, long, long time ago. Uh, Tina's not on. I hope everything's okay. Um, it was a long, long, long time ago. So I'm just going over this and making sure it's nice and thin and smooth and even. Uh, so that way, um, it dries for me and, um, we're not sitting here for an hour and we're just going to, um, I think I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do a graveyard. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a I'm going to do a graveyard, um, right? Because we're doing ghosts and spirits. So where would you find those guys, right? We're going to do, uh, you find them in a graveyard. So I think I want to throw a graveyard on here real quick. 
and I'm going to show you um, all the little tricks that I know for doing our our lovely little ghosts that uh, look like they're wearing sheets, <laughs> right? And uh, we're going to do, um, you know, we're going to do a shrouded figure, right? You guys seen the shrouded figures, right? Looks like they're wearing a big creepy robe, and you can only see like their hands. And their face. Hello, 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 Carolyn. How are you doing, sweetie? And you can only see like their hands and their face peeking out. All right. So we're gonna do a shrouded figure, and um, you know, anything else you guys would like to see? I mean, um, this is your practice session. This is all for you. So um, no question is a bad question. Everyone's at different levels. That's on here. Some of you have been painting with me for a while. Some of you just started. Um, so if you don't ask, it doesn't get answered, right? So no question is um, no question is a, a bad question, okay, guys? So uh, keep that in mind. And um, I need more white paint because I just used my whole pile. All right. So now. You know I'm going to do fog and mist because you can't have a, a graveyard and you can't have spooky stuff without fog and mist. So you guys, um, between the clown painting and then tonight, you guys should have your fog and mist game down pretty well. So I'm grabbing Fluffy. You guys knew I was grabbing Fluffy. All right, so I'll tap to have Fluffy. I'm going to smash them into my paper towel, get them all separated and... And soft and uh, all fluffed out. <laughs> he is all fluffed out. Um, puppy's really... T oh, that's right, Carolyn. Oh, my goodness. So, Carolyn sent me a picture of her puppy. Cutest thing ever. Um, um, and all fluffy. And it's like a copper color. So, she called the... I'm telling your business, Carolyn. So, she called the puppy uh, Penny. I love it, 6,000%. So, I am grabbing um, white, I'm grabbing black, I'm grabbing blue. Ah, let's grab some red, right? I got, I got that all in my brush here, and I'm going to smash, smash, smash. And it's looking a little dark. Um, I'm going to grab some more red. And uh, so, let's grab some more white, because it's looking a little dark. And I'm not going to over smash, just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to come in here. Now, i got a lot of paint on my brush. A lot of paint. So, what you want to do is you make sure that you do a very, very light touch. And we're just going to swirl. We're just going to swirl. Alright? And we're just going to keep swirling. You just keep swirling and moving that paint around until... Um, it spreads out and it disappears and you can go back to where you initially put it on because that's going to be really thick and you can go back into that pile and move it around and swirl it out. Alright, you can move it around and swirl it out. So if you notice, I'm just going in circles. What else is new? Welcome to my world. <laughs> Always going in circles. Right, so I'm just going to go in circles, and uh, we're going to spread this paint around. And I got a, um, a bristle, so we'll get rid of that. And we're just going to um, keep swirling. Keep doing swirly do's. Keep doing swirly do's. And, um, you know, you can change directions. You can uh, go back and forth. Now, this is all blending very nicely because um, my canvas was still semi-wet and um, I'm going to just keep swirling and getting this paint nice and thin and getting it to the point of where it's sort of see-through right and I'm just going to keep swirling and swirling and swirling until it gets to that point okay so and if you notice I keep revisiting that initial spot that I put paint in because um, I want to move that around and get that all thinned out. Okay, so now that, uh, hello, 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 Tina B. I was wondering where you were, sweetheart. Um, now that I have that all on there and swirled, okay, so I'll give you guys a little pan to see the texture and the swirls and the different things going on. All right, now that I have all that on there, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to wipe off my brush, get all the goops and gobs out of them, 
right? Goops and gobs for our goblins and our ghosts. <laughs> we got goops and gobs and ghosts and spirits and all sorts of stuff. So now he's, uh, now I'm going to go right into my white. I'm going to go right into my white, just white on my brush. I'm going to do a little smash, smash. Okay, get it into my bristles there. And very, very light touch because there's a lot of paint on my brush when you initially go to use this. So I'm going to do this extremely light touch, right? And I'm going to move my brush around to different areas of my swirling, okay? And I'm just going to do these little, these little uh, half circles, nice and fluffy, right? Nice and fluffy, okay? And I'm just going to keep going around to the different areas until that paint isn't thick on my brush anymore. And now I'm going to wipe my brush off. And then we're going to go back to where I put those circles and we're going to swirl. Okay, and we're going to swirl. All right, and then this way you get brighter areas in your mist and you can just uh, swirl them out. And doing mist and doing fog and all that, it's like a buildable, it's, it, you have to build it up, all right? You have to build it up. You can't just uh, go on there and get um, mist without doing like the layer underneath it. And then you have to go back in and move this white around and that's going to blend out. And then you have to um, go back in with some more white. Okay, and you just keep building. You just keep, I, this, thing, this thing's like rocking and rolling. So let me press my holder down better. Um, so you have to just keep building and building and building. Now, I'm not going to make that this that bright because I'm going to have a ghost to put on it. So I'm going to grab some more white paint and we're going to do like maybe up here a little bit, a little bit more. All right, same process. If you notice, I am just, I just put more paint on my brush and I'm bouncing around doing these um, arched little fluffy parts, right? So very technical, right? I'm doing these arched little fluffies. That's all I'm doing. Okay, and then I go through the fluffy and I move it around. All right, so that's all you need to do and you're going to get uh, mist. Okay, so 6,000%. There it is. All right, now if you want to get it even um, softer, if you want it to be softer, I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. And I'm going to get, I'm going to dab him really good so he's on the dry side. All right, so I'm going to dab him really, 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 really good so he's pretty much dry. And I can go in and just soften all of this out. Okay, and I'm just dabbing the brush, you know, a little, I'm using a little bit of pressure because this is um, drying already. So I'm using a little bit of pressure. You can see I'm bouncing. All right, so if you want it to be extra, extra, extra soft, you can just go in with Big Boy, um, nice and clean and fairly dry, and you could soften that all out. All right, 6,000%. So that is how you would create and build mist. And um, hello, 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 Patricia. How are you doing, sweetie? That's okay. You know the replays are always available. And uh, I didn't do any ghosts yet. We're doing a whole uh, scene, uh, thing tonight. So I did mist because with ghosts and spirits and all that, you need like foggy, misty areas. Thank you so much for the stars, love. Thank you so much. All right, so that being said, let's throw some uh, tombstones and then let's get to the ghosts. Okay, because I could do this all night long. <laughs> all right, tombstone. So I'm going to grab black paint. Hi, Katie. Hello, 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 sweetheart. 
How are you doing? Um, and Debbie had a hard time. Is the background black, blue, and white? It absolutely is. It absolutely is, Debbie. 6,000%. Okay, so I'm going in with Big Boy. I got black paint. Let's do some, uh, let's do some tombstones, right? So I'm just going to, uh, arch some shapes around. Right, we're just going to arch some shapes around. And these are going to turn gray because my background is still wet with the uh, white paint. And I'm going to do a little zigzag zoom underneath this. A little zigzag zoom. Okay, just to kind of give the um, hint of land being there. And let's do um, another tombstone over here. Shoop. Straight down, right? Let gravity do the work. Faster you go, the straighter your line's going to be. All right, so let's put one here, and let's put it on a square base. Boop, 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 boop. All right, shoop. You can use that one inch. You can use that one inch. See that? I just pressed my brush, and I pulled. And I got a, a rectangle just by using the shape of the brush. All right, just by using the shape of the brush. All right, so we need a little uh, circle. All right, half that way, half this way. Okay, so let's do a little circle, and let's put the uh, cross in it. Boop, just like that. Clean this up a little bit right here, this edge. Bring it on down. All right, let's do another one. Let's do... Um, all right, I'm going to make a cross, bam, and bam. Okay, we need to give it a little pedestal, boop, just like that, All right? Now I'm going to fan out the, um, the edges of those lines that I made. So I'm going to fan them out, I'll put this in, color it in. I'm just going to do a dab, dab, right? Because I don't want these black, black, black. Right, they could be gray, they can be muted tones. All right, this is a misty, creepy uh, cemetery, right? So, we don't want we don't need to have these black, 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 they can just be uh, gray and misty. And let's put in um, let's put in a couple other little um, swoops, right? The little swoopy ones. Let's put this one on a pedestal, bam, just like that. Okay, we're gonna do a little zigzag zoom. So it looks like these are on land. A little zigzag zoom action going on here. Do, 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 all right. And let's see, let's uh, do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Um, <laughs> right here. Let's do one more right here. Okay. Shoop. Little horseshoe. All right. Our little horseshoe going on there. And zigzag zoom. All right. So you can have a lot of fun with tombstones and stuff. Now I'm just kind of getting the excess paint off of my brush and, and softening this area out. Whoop, I hit my tombstone that was wet. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. So this just got bigger because <laughs> he was still wet and I hit it. All right, so we're going to do a little shoop, shoop, shoop over here. All right, just dabbing in, just using the excess paint that's on my brush. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing, just using the excess paint on my brush and dabbing this stuff around, filling it in, and there you go. There's your cemetery, all right? 6,000%, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You guys can totally do this, less is more, right? So very little paint on your brush to get the misty and soft little vibe going on. And we're going to let this dry for two seconds. I'm going to do a little roll call. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> so, um, and we're going to get to our ghosts and our spirits. Okay, guys? 6,000%. So, um, you guys know that um, 
this Friday's no party, so next Friday, right? Adorbs, right, Katie? So, so simple and adorable. So you guys can totally do this. Um, so no party on uh, Friday. So the next Friday, we've got our kitty cat. What? With the broom and our cat with the little hat and the bats and the pumpkin. So excited for this one. So you guys are going to be doing this next Friday. 6,000%. Thank you everybody who's been sharing um, my event pages. Totally, totally um, helps and gets the awareness out there. And our family's been growing. And it's absolutely amazing. Um, So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that has been sharing. Um, it actually does, you like the cat, right, Katie? It actually does make a big difference. So, you know, if you don't have it for a monetary support, that's okay, I get it. No worries there. You're welcome just as much as everybody else is welcome that is being generous. So just remember that. Don't ever feel like you're... Um, you're not a part of this fan because you're not tapping money buttons. That's totally fine. You don't have to. Um, that's why I do everything for free. I think that everybody, um, thank you so much, Dee Dee. Uh, you know, I think everybody deserves the opportunity to um, have fun and play. And, you know, sometimes by the time you get your supplies, you're done. It's over. And that's okay. Um, but tapping the button to share and to like and to follow um that's totally sending support and it works just as good just as good right getting the awareness out there our family has grown um exponentially within this past few months and i am so 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 grateful for it and um i love all the new fam members and i love all the ones that have been with me the past two years and um that's never going to change Okay, guys, so just keep that in mind. So I really appreciate everybody that's been sharing my posts. It really does help. Or tagging a friend. Uh, that really does help, too. So hello, 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 Dee Dee. And before I get all the clamped, <laughs> well, let's move on. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out where my, my ghosts and my spirits are going to be, right? And I want to turn around and put in um, some mist, some mist or some ghost effervescence, if you will, um, in the areas that where my ghosts are going to be. So I swirl tap dab fluffy, all right, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab um, a little bit of white, see, a little, little bit. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Rochelle. Right, and I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna kerplunk in that like uh, blue, black, red, white thing I made before. So it's kind of like a mauvey color, and I'm gonna smash, smash, smash. Right, and wipe and get the excess paint off. And now I get to make the decision of where are my ghosts living. So you know we're gonna put one right in the center. Right, so um, very light touch, little swirls this time little swirls okay and we got to put a little bit of spirit effervescence going on here um, a little spirit effervescence going on right so a little a little puff a little cloud so very little paint and I, again I am just swirling and I'm leaving some dark moments and some light moments all right so we're gonna have one there and I'm going to do the same thing again, okay, a little bit of white, little bit, just a touch, and a little kerplunk into that mauve color, and mauve, I don't know, and then I'm going to wipe the excess paint off of my brush, see, hardly any paint on there at all, and let's come over here, boop, boop, and I'm full of sound effects tonight, <laughs> I'm like sound affecting everything tonight. It's like uh, my own little beatbox. All right, we're going to put a guy over here. All right, so we're going to do some uh, 
misty stuff coming up from the uh, tombstone. Okay, so we're going to put a guy over here and just swirl in. Notice I started at the tombstone and worked my way up. So this softens out as I go up. Okay, and a little bit of soft right there. Okay, so he's coming out of that tombstone. And we're going to, same process, guys. So a little bit of paint, very small amounts of paint. Wipe your brush off. Make sure you only have a little bit, bit, bit. All right, let's do another one over here. Um, we're going to make him like he's walking away. So we're going to put his little... There's a little mist coming out of the side here. And this is where I'm going to do my um, my shrouded spirit. So, But this is personal preference. You don't have to turn around and add the... Uh, now, this is going on really thick, right? You're loving the sound. I am. I'm making all sorts. Um, so I had a lot of paint on my brush. So I'm going to leave that alone for a second. And I'm going to come over to the other tombstone and... Um, start creating another cloud because I had a lot of paint on my brush this time around. Again, starting here, working my way up, and I'm just doing swirls, guys. Uh, the trick is very little paint and to have a fluffy brush. If you don't have a fluffy brush, you want any brush that is stiff bristled and gets fluffy, okay? So this is stiff bristles, and um, when you smash it around, it becomes fluffy. Okay, so, and now, now that all that excess paint's off of here, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back over here, and start moving this paint around, so it gets uh, softer. Okay, so, now we have our little mist clouds, and uh, one, two, three, four, oh, I missed the one in the middle. So, the one in the middle... I'm actually going to grab um, this one right here. I'm going to grab a medium fluffy. And I'm going to change the color scheme a little bit because these kind of look white. These are looking a little purple. I'm going to grab uh, my blue. I'm going to grab my blue. Okay, so we're grabbing blue. Oh, I got to dip him in water. I forgot. All right, so dip him in a little bit of water. And I'm going to grab my blue. And I'm going to grab uh, yellow. And I'm going to smash, smash, smash. And we're going to grab the white. A little bit of white. Smash, smash, smash. Okay. And uh, I'm actually going to smash it on the paper towel. All right. Get that excess paint off of him. So you can smash it uh, on the paper towel. And then, uh, again, swirly do's. Right, so we did the uh, the green mist um, for our clowns. Remember, guys, we did the green mist for our clowns. So I'm gonna swirly do the green in here just to give um, you know a change up of color. You know me in colors, and also I wanted it. Um, I didn't want to use um, any white. Can still hear you, but getting those vertical lines again. Okay, well, it'll work itself out. It'll work itself out. Uh, I don't have any control over that. I was actually looking into, um, I was actually, uh, let me do some green mist over here. Let's let it, let's uh, have it work itself out, and then, um, then I'll go into the ghosts. Uh, I was actually looking into like um, an internet like uh, boosting thing, um, like a little gizmo that boosts the signal, but uh, they're a little pricey and I really don't know what I'm buying because I don't know that much about it, so, um, but I was looking into one, I'm just putting green in just because I'm liking how it looks. <laughs> So, I'm putting it in with no rhyme or reason here. Um, I'm back. Okay, cool beans. Okay, so, um, now we can start putting in our ghost shapes. So, what you want to do is, you want it less is more, right? Little, little bit of paint, 
little bit of paint okay less is more because you want a little bit of paint so they're see-through all right okay cool beans I'll do my ghost now um, so you want a little bit of paint so they're see-through okay so I got a clean white uh, big boy and I'm going into my white paint all right I'm gonna um, dab it on the on my palette here get rid of most of the paint that's on my brush okay and let's put in our first guy so I'm gonna just swoop swoop just like that right and then I'm gonna fan out the bottom and then I'm gonna put a little bit of a point right here okay now I'm gonna wipe my brush off I'm gonna wipe my brush off no paint on my brush and I am just going to push I'm going to push that paint that I made the shape with around and inside the ghost. So I'm going to push the paint around that I made the shape with uh, around and inside the ghost because we want this to be see-through. And as I'm doing that, let me move you guys closer. Close up! The green looks cool, right? I was digging the green. That's why I added more. Um... As I'm doing that, I'm actually going to uh, push a shape out this way, right? So no more paint on my brush. I'm just using the paint that's on the canvas from doing the shape in the first place. So I'm going to turn around and push some out that way. I'm going to make him a little uh, soft around the edges. I'm going to do a little do, 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 right? So maybe some more little ghosty effervescence going on. All right. And now this is see-through. Okay. So that being said, that being said, um, I'm going to grab a mini me. Hi, Irene. Hello, 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 sweetheart. I'm going to grab a mini me. And I'm going to go back into the white paint. Very little on my brush. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to do a couple little dabs. A couple little dabs. On the diagonal pieces. Okay. And right here. And I'm going to wipe my brush off, and then I'm going to zigzag zoom it. I'm going to zigzag zoom it. Just like that. Okay, zigzag zoom it. And soften it all out. So now it looks like these pieces are sticking out further than the rest of the other pieces. And now I'm going to, yeah, it's really cool, right? I'm digging the green. Um, so now, like a lot of the stuff with ghosts is what's going on around it and behind it. It's not necessarily um, the ghost itself. So got a little, look, I'm using microscopic amounts of paint, guys. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the shape of his head. Microscopic amount of paint, guys. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush. And we're going to zigzag zoom to soften that out. And just like that, you have a ghost. And come on, guys. How easy was that? The whole secret is to use microscopic amounts of white paint. Okay, microscopic amounts of white paint. All right, so let me do another one because these are just a lot of fun. So let me do another one. Okay, and then I'm going to show you some tricks to get them to look like they're glowing even more. All right, so I'm going to do, uh, let's do another one right here. All right, so I'm going to do this all with uh, Mini Me this time. All right, so I'm grabbing Mini Me. I'm grabbing white paint. I'm going to dab, dab. Okay, get most of the paint off of the brush, right? Because you could always add more. You can't take away. So let's come up here and let's do, um, hello, 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 Nikki. No worries, sweetheart. Watchers are totally allowed. 
We get watchers, we get creepers, we get painters. So let's do this one a different shape, right? So let me do like a hook. Whoop, just like that. And let's bring this down this way, right? Nice and skinny. And then put a little tail on it. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit more paint now. And we're going to do a piece going out that way. And let's do another piece going out that way. Right, so this looks like he is. And then we're going to do our little triangle piece. We're going to connect these like that. Connect that like that. Okay. Swirl tap dab my brush. And I'm going to zigzag zoom. Okay. So clean brush. Just some water on it. And I'm just zigzag zooming. Softening. Where I put the white. Alright. Now if it's not moving. You can add a little water to your brush. Do a dip. Do one dab. Do a dip and a dab. Just a dip. One dip and a dab. Okay, so this way there's more water on your brush and it'll help move that paint around for you, right? So one dip, dip, one dip, one dab. Dip and a dab. That's all. And that'll help move your paint around too. Okay, so now that that's done, I'll wipe off my brush. I'm going to grab a little bit more white. I'm going to come in and put the white here. I'm going to put the white there. I'm going to put the white there. All right. And I'm going to wipe my brush off. And I'm going to zigzag zoom. Okay. Because we're putting the brighter areas of white in now. Just like the other one. Right. Because you could always add more. You can only take so much away. So less is more. Less is more. Now I'm going to do uh, the white again, and we're going to come in here, and I'm going to highlight this piece right there, and I'm going to highlight this piece right here, and maybe a little right there, and wipe my brush off, ziggy zag zoom. Okay, so you can have a lot of fun with your shapes and your sizes and however you make these guys, and um, it doesn't really matter. Right, well, however you want to do your shapes and your sizes. And I'm going to grab a pinch more white. Come in here. Accentuate his head more. Wipe my brush off. Okay, zigzag zone. Alright, then you have a, and he's kind of flying that way. <laughs> This looks so cool. Well, thank you, gal. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start our shrouded figure, and then we're gonna play. We can play with this all we want, um, as the shrouded figure is uh, drying. So my spirit guy, my shrouded creepy guy, right? He's gonna go right here, and I'm gonna start with um, grabbing mini me. And I'm going to grab this really dirty white right here. So I'm going to grab that. All right. So we're grabbing that. And we're going to grab some black. We're going to grab some black. So I have like a gray color going on. And let's put in, um, we're going to do a triangle. Can you guys see that? All right. I'm going to grab uh, all black so you guys can see what I'm doing. You can't see the gray. So I'm going to make a triangle. All right. So we're going to do a triangle there. And I'm going to make another triangle. Right there. Okay. Uh, I got to grab more black paint. One second. Okay. So I want to do it all in black so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. 6,000%. So all we did was make uh, two triangles. Now I'm going to fill and fix, right? We fill and fix. And as I'm filling and fixing, I'm going to round that out. Right? So we're going to round that out. And then as I'm rounding it out, I'm going to droop it down like that. We're going to droop it down like that. 
okay and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just make a tail right there and do a swoop line okay because this is fabric so you want it to be soft you don't want it to have hard edges so you're softening your triangle edges and putting in these lo this little like swoopy moments all right so I'm going to swoop this here okay soften that corner out and just color it in we're just going to color it in all right that's all I'm doing black paint coloring this in all good no worries okay and then all right gonna swoop the tail you can make that as long and as creepy as you want it to be okay now I'm gonna wipe my brush off I'm gonna wipe off my brush okay not necessarily clean it just wipe it off I'm gonna grab some white paint and I'm just going to put in these dashes and dabs of the white so I can make this look more like uh, fabric alright so I'm dashing there I'm dabbing there I'm gonna wipe off my brush I'm gonna do a little zigzag zoom okay we're just zigzag zooming that's all we're doing putting in these like little areas where it would look like the the fabric is you know folded or sticking out more in the one piece and the other and here there not everywhere leave it alone <laughs> leave it alone got it because if you keep playing with it you're going to blend everything you just try to do out and then you're going to get a big goop pile and then you're not going to be able to do anything so exactly what I did black little dashes of white little zigzag zoom leave it alone all right close up all right so there is your close up okay guys you can totally do this six thousand percent all right no worries okay so once I have that done whoop, <laughs> earthquake <laughs> You don't want to leave it alone? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Then you're stuck with what, whatever you get. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to take Mini Me and I'm going to grab just my black paint. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to put a little piece like it's the other side of the hood. A little teardrop piece. And then I'm going to put another piece here, and this is just black paint. Black, okay? So you do a little teardrop piece right there, and then you could do another little triangle coming out this way. Like that. Okay? So, I'll show you the teardrop piece of just the black. And then the little foot piece. Oop, earthquake. Sorry, guys. Um, I made my stand higher, so it's kind of difficult to show you. I have to, like, play with the camera stand to show you, like, something that's down here. <laughs> All right, so let's pan it out. You guys can get a vibe for everything that's going on. Okay, so we got to let this dry, leave it alone, right? We're leaving it alone, whether you want to or not, you're leaving it alone. We're not playing with that. Let me do some roll call. We'll throw a few more ghosts, and then I'll show you some glowing tricks. Okay, so Amanda's in the house. Rochelle is here. We got Gail and Kimberly and Becky, Diane, Tammy, Cindy, Helen, Joan, Mary, Joanne, Jill, Artis, Carolyn, Tina B is hanging out with us, Patricia's in the house, Katie, Debbie, Dee Dee is here, Irene, and Nikki. And Nikki. <laughs> okay, okay, you will, you will. All right. So, let's do, um, I'm going to grab Big Boy just for the sake of time. Um, I have my TikTok video tonight, so every Tuesday, um, if you have the TikTok app, 
I will be going live every Tuesday night. The paintings I'm doing are paintings I already did for Facebook and YouTube. So, um, you're not missing out. If you go on my YouTube channel, the videos are there. So, if you see me advertising something for TikTok, and uh, you're like, I want to paint that, um, it's done already. You can find it on YouTube. So, I'm not doing anything new or different. So, if you don't have that app, you're not uh, missing out, okay? Um, all right. So, I'm going to grab, uh, I got, like, my white's really dirty. So, I'm just going to move that over. Okay? So, you guys can move the paint over and get to the clean stuff underneath. Okay? And I'm going to wipe my brush off, and I'm going to put some clean white paint just on the tip of my big boy brush. We're going to come over here. We're going to drop in another uh, ghost over here. So, again, I'm just going to do my swoop. All right. And I'm going to do my points. One this way, one that way, one that way. All right. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to dab. To fill him in All right and then I'm going to pull this paint out do another little point there okay and we're gonna do another point um let's do another little one right there like he's flying that way all right so I'll do another little point there Okay, and I'm just dabbing with Big Boy. I'm softening this all out. I'm getting the paint nice and thin. Alright, he's swooping that way. We're going to soften this way a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm going to grab more white paint. I'm going to come in and just accentuate the, um, the bright parts. So I want to do his, his head right there. And I want to do the tops of his tails right there. All right, we're going to do a little bit right there and one there. I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm just going to dab or do a little zigzag zoom, if you will. You can do a little zigzag zoom, zigzag zoom, zigzag zoom. Okay, soften those areas out so it's brighter. But it's soft, 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 soft. Okay. Just like that. Alright. And I'm um, coming over here and I'm going to add a little bit more white to this guy. Because, uh, and if you notice, I didn't get more white on my brush. I'm just coming over with whatever, look, see, look at my brush. I'm just coming over with whatever was left on my brush from doing this ghost. Alright. Less is more. Less is more. Okay. So, and let's do another guy over here. And then I'm going to show you some glow techniques. Okay? So, um, let's swoop him. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do him. All right. Well, let's just see what happens. We're going to swoop. <laughs> let's see what happens when I put him on here. We're going to swoop over here. We're going to do a point right to the gravestone. We're going to come out this way, and we're going to come out this way, like that. I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm going to dab, dab. Okay, are you guys paying attention how many times I say I'm going to wipe off my brush? All right, it's very important. It's a really important thing to wipe the brush off, and then you do your dabbing, okay? And then I'm going to do another wing out this way. Do another wing there, like that, and uh, I don't know, um, another one right here. Okay, so when you put your points in, you know, it's your ghost. You can have them any way you want them to be. I'm going to grab a microscopic more white paint. I'm going um, to make him a little bit bigger because he's closer. So, and I'm just going to dab that out. Do a little zigzag zoom to get rid of that initial line. Right? 
Dab, dab. Everything's dabbing. Small amounts of paint. Okay. I just wanted to make him a little bigger. That's all. Now I'm going to go with uh, Mini Me. And I'm going to wipe him off. Now, if you want to, instead of doing the white, you can uh, do shading instead. So I can turn around and grab, um, using Mini-Me, and I'm going to grab a little bit of this, this mauve color that I made before. Alright, and then I'm going to dab it off my brush. Less is more. Microscopic amount of paints, guys. And I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to put it here and here. So opposite of the points. Remember we put the white on the points? Now we're putting the color um, where those points are. And then I'm going to zigzag zoom the color. Okay, I'm going to zigzag zoom. I need a little bit of water because that dried in like two seconds. I'm going to zigzag zoom the colors in between my points. All right, so you don't have to, you can turn around and add more depth by doing that. And now I'm going to grab the white. Now I'm going to grab the white and put the white highlight on the pieces that I want to be coming out on the front. Okay, wipe my brush off, and zigzag zoom. Zigzag zoom. Okay, so you can put um, shading into your ghost also. Um, I just grabbed the mauve color, and I did it with the mauve color, and then see it kind of made this tail be underneath this whole section here yeah same same techniques on same techniques Jill as uh, the clown tent I mean it's fabric so it's the same techniques so I'm gonna grab the tiniest bit of white paint and just accentuate this point right here I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I'm gonna zigzag zoom it but now this piece looks like he's it's underneath this this section right there okay guys so that's how you would do like a little piece in the background looking like it's coming out from underneath the other pieces all right so that's that's how you would do that okay that being said is this dry yet no all right so we're waiting for that i'm going to show you some techniques to make these guys glow now all right, I want to show you techniques to make these guys glow. And if you notice, when I did my shading, I did my shading with the same color as I did the mist behind him. So that also made it look more see-through because the shading is matching the mist color. All right, so it kind of looks like you're seeing the mist through the folds of his fabric. So that's pretty cool. All right, so... How do you get these guys to glow? Well, I'll show you how to get these guys to glow. Let's do this guy. All right, so if I'm going to do a glow, there's a couple different ways to do this. So I'm going to show you um, like a glow tricks, and then we're going to finish our shrouded guy up, and we're going to be all set for the night. So, you know, guys, if you have any questions, 6,000% ask me. So I'm going to turn around. I'm going to grab white paint. And I'm going to do um, a wash over him. So I actually want my white to be a little brighter. And I'm going to go around his edges. Here, there, not everywhere. All right. Here, there, not everywhere. And I'm dabbing. If you notice, I'm dabbing. And I'm going to zigzag zoom this part. Okay, because I need him to be a little bit brighter than what he is, because I'm going to go in with a color wash. 
Okay, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to dip my brush in the water, going to clean the white out. All right, and I'm going to dip it into the water and do one dab. So um, when I say dip, dip and dab, look, I'm dipping it in the water, I'm not tapping it, and then I'm doing a dab like that. So this way your bristles are extra wet. All right, so you dip, no tap, dip. And dab and then you'll have extra water in your bristles okay and with that being said I'm gonna go right in to my um, blue and I'm gonna go right into my yellow and I'm gonna do a little smash smash it's it's too dark all right so I'm gonna grab more yellow Right, and the yellow got kind of thick, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to this, dipping it in my cup, and then the dab, instead of the paper towel, I dabbed it in the paint instead. So, I'm going to grab some more of this yellow. I want this to be a bright, 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 bright neon green. Thank you so much for the stars, honey. Um, now I'm going to wipe my brush off and come back into this liquefied neon green color thank you so much for the star sun i'm going to come in here and i am going to add this and do a wash over my ghost okay i'm going to do a wash over my ghost and you don't have to stay in the lines. You don't have to stay in the lines because this is going to give a glow effect on your ghost and around your ghost. Okay? And I could actually take Big Boy out if I wanted to be really quick about it. And Big Boy holds more water. So I did, I swirled, I did a tap tap. I'm going to do a dab dab. So there's extra water in him. I'm going to grab that neon green yellow that I made that's all nice and loose. I'm going to do a little dab dab with that. Wipe off the excess. I'm going to come in here and I can very easily just do one of these. And you can just do a wash. Okay, and now you have a neon green glowing ghost. See how simple that was? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's all you need to do, right? Cool looking, right? Because what happens is, is that shading that you did before and um, putting those little pops of white on here as a highlight, and then you do the wash, you can still see all that going on, but now everything has that yellowish green hue to it. Okay, so there's a glowing ghost for you. <laughs> you guys didn't think it was this easy, did you? <laughs> Alright, another technique you can do. Is doing an outline of a bright color. So, let's go, um, let's do this guy. Alright, let's do the guy in the middle. And I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take a uh, tiny. I'm going to take a tiny. Uh, tiny is a small round, uh, small round brush. And I'm going to make, I'm going to grab uh, some white. And I'm going to go into my blue. And I'm going to make a really, really bright blue color. A really bright blue color. So I want to, if that's a little too dark, I want to grab some more white. Okay, so you want a bright, bright, bright blue color. All right, now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to outline. I'm going to outline him with the blue. I'm going to outline him with the blue. And you want to move a little quickly because what you're going to do is you're going to smudge. You're going to smudge this blue. 
Okay, so once you have that on there, you can take your finger and you can do a little smudge. Of the blue and then if you need to you can go into your ghost and I'm going to grab some um, clean brush white paint I'm going to come in here and now I'm going to accentuate just dabbing my round brush I'm going to accentuate again some of those pieces I might have lost smudging the blue Okay, so here, there, not everywhere. Pick up clean finger. <laughs> and smudge. And that way you get a glowing ghost. And you know, you can you can do this like layer by layer. Like say if you just did that and you lost some of your blue again, you could come in and add your bright blue back in just here, there, not everywhere to certain spots you might have missed. Or you might have covered up. I'm gonna go back to my blue finger. And I'm going to smudge that again. So this is a buildable effect, right? So you can keep building until you get exactly where you want it to be. All right. So, and I did bright blue. You can do the neon green color if you want to do the neon green color to um, do the glow line. You can do, um, you know, if you want to do uh, like a bright orange you can do an orange to do a glow line. So um, I picked the blue just to because it looks cool. I like it. Um, and I saw another artist do it with the blue. So um, I was digging it. But you don't have to do blue. Like I can come in here and I can grab uh, white and my yellow. White and yellow. All right come in here and I can go around the outer edge of this guy with the uh, white and the yellow alright so I'm just going around the outer edge of him with white and yellow and I'm actually gonna do his folds too I'm going to do his folds, too. Okay? So, that way, you can do that, too. And this little piece under here. And I'm just dabbing. I'm not doing this very carefully. Pick a clean finger. <laughs> Smudge. Alright, let's pick a clean finger and smudge it out. Just like that and then you can go in with your um, white again just to clean up anything that you might have smudged a little too much right so I'm going with my white I'm going to dab right here dab a little throughout his body maybe a little bit right there a little bit right there over here on that little corner right there and clean finger <laughs> clean finger do the other one purple you want a purple one all right I'll do a purple one for you Nikki no worries I want to work on this guy and then I'll do the uh, last ghost purple okay sweetheart all right so there you have it a glowing ghost okay so I'll give you a close-ups close-up Okay, there's the yellow outline, there's the wash, there's the blue outline, and um, you want the last one to be purple. I'll do the other one purple, uh, but I want to work on this guy. So, uh, we have our shrouded figure, but say you want to put uh, like pieces of him sneaking out. 
So what I'm going to do is I want to take uh, Mini Me. I'm going to swirl tap dab him because he's got a ton of white in him. So I'm going to swirl tap dab him. Yeah, no worries. No worries, love. All right, I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to grab black paint. I'm going to put in a sleeve. All right, so we're going to swoop out. We're going to swoop around where the shoulder would be. And then bring this out. Right, fill it in. And I'm going to do a little dangly on the sleeve here. Okay, so gave him a sleeve. I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to grab a little bit of white paint, microscopic amount of white. I'm going to accentuate my sleeve. Wipe my brush off. Do a very light zigzaggy zoom thing going on here. I used a little too much white paint, so I'm going to grab my black again and come in with the black because I had a little too much white paint on there. All right, give them a sleeve. And I'm going to take Mr. Nifty. Nifty in the house. Oh, yeah. So I'll be sending out the Nifties once I do the contest because I'm going to be pulling the cards. So nobody got Nifties this month because of the contest. And as I pull the cards for the nifty, when I pull a purple card and I'm on your name and address screenshot, that's who the winner is going to be, guys. Okay? So, ooh, let's do something exciting. You want to put the purple card in the case? Yeah, let's do that. All right. So, oh, let me wipe my hands off here on my shirt. Let me wipe my hands off on my shirt. All right, guys. So, here is... The bucket of cards, when I go through the screenshots, I'm going to be pulling a card out to uh, fill out to mail you your nifty. So, when I go to pull a card out, if you have the purple one, you're going to win. So, let's put this in the container. Oh, yeah. And I don't just, I don't pull from the front. I, I randomly pull. So, do, 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 do. It's going in for our contest. What, what? So send in the support, $3 or more, and you can get your chance. Where am I going to put this card in? I don't know. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. There it's going. What? Bam. Make sure that I did that right so it's not overlapping something else. Yep, all good. Not caught on anything. It's in there. <laughs> All right. So, you have until the last day of September at midnight. And then this weekend, I'm going to be pulling cards. All right. So, we're going to grab Mr. Nifty. Nifty you get for free to, uh, for anybody who sends support. That's $3 or more. I'm going to grab uh, my white paint. Make sure it's not goopy. I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a little, now you got to go to the top of the sleeve because the sleeve is draping down. So you want to go to the top of your sleeve and I'm going to put out, you know, I'm going to do a little double line like it's a bone. And then I'm going to do um, a little arch, just a little mini one and pull, put a finger going straight out. I'm going to do a little dab dab here, a little dab dab there, one there, one there, thicken this up a little bit, and there you go, there's your little skeleton hand. And then if you want to put in uh, maybe his little face sneaking out, um, turn around and you can do like a bell shape. It's like a little bell shape almost. 
So you can do a bell shape of the white. Okay, and then you could do a piece under it. Whoop, that white had yellow in it. That's okay. Grab some more white. Fill this in. And grab some black. Give them an eyeball. Give them some uh, teeth. Give him the one side of his nostril. And there you have your spirit. Okay, so I'm swirl tap dab in uh, Nifty. I'm going to grab some more white paint. I'm going to come in here and do some dabs of more white paint. Just to put some brighter areas on his knuckles and his bone. All right here, there, not everywhere. Okay, I'll give you guys a close up. So there is your spirit. Okay, guys, easy peasy lemon squeezy. You guys can do all of this stuff. Absolutely, I have the utmost confidence in you. All right, many, many, many amounts of paint. Up oh, earthquake again. <laughs> Uh, it's Grim from Billy and Mandy. I don't know that show. <laughs> All right, so you want the last one purple, right, guys? All right, so I'll do the last one purple. We're going to be all set. So if you have any questions for me, 6,000% ask, because uh, we're going to call this one done. All right, so I need, I need purple, right? So let me take, grab Tiny. I'm going to swirl tap, dab him. So we'll tap that tiny and I'm going to I want a bright purple so actually let me do my mixing with mini me so I'm gonna swirl tap dab uh, mini me get all that black paint out of them I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab uh, some white here right and I want to grab my blue and I want to grab my red The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. It's a cartoon. Oh, that's cool. All right. And I'm going to uh, swirl this around. And it's a nice, pretty purple color. I want it to be a little bit lighter, though. All right. I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to grab uh, more white. Grab more white because we want these colors to be bright. Right, and just just when you think you have it bright enough, grab more white. <laughs> just when you think you have it bright enough, grab more white. Make it even brighter. Okay, so we have a nice bright purple there now. And I'm going to put Mini Me in the water. I'm going to grab a uh, tiny. We're going to go around our ghost. Do I have a clean finger? I do. I have uh, this the pinky right here because I need my finger. Um, now, since my background was purple, like if I was going to, if I knew I was going to do purple ghosts, I would do a yellow background so the ghost would um, pop more against the yellow background because what's going to happen is is this is just going to blend out and look like part of the background it's not going to look like he's glowing because my background is purple so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab fluffy real quick i'm going to grab yellow paint and i'm going to go around this ghost with the yellow paint first just to turn around and make my background a different color because you're not going to see you're not going to see the purple popping because my background's purple 
All right, so those are things you have to pay attention to. Right, so you can't turn around and make something look like it has an outline of color if your background is the color you're trying to make the outline. All right, so we're gonna fill this in with yellow. I'm gonna grab Mini Me with white paint. There's the butters. I knew he was gonna chime in today. I just knew it. I could have bet money. I could have bet money that he was gonna bark tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew it. A ghost ship with the mist be really cool too. <laughs> well, I'm not painting a ship. <laughs> you got a nest to enhance your internet with router. A nest. All right, so I'm going to go back in with my white. All right, I'm going to go back in with my white. All right, because um, I, yellow, I kind of lost some of my ghost. All right, so we're going to go back in with the white to um, get our ghost back. All right, again, all right, just like I did all night, I'm just doing it quick like I'm uh, putting the white. Where I want it, just dabbing white on here, and then I'm going to wipe my brush off, and I'm going to zigzag zoom. So the same process, I just did all the ghosts. I just did that same process. I just did it really quickly. All right, still the same process, though. Okay, so now that I have the yellow background, I can go back and scroll tap dab uh, tiny. I'll go back with the purple now. And I'll do the purple on the outer edge of the ghost. Okay, so we're going to do the purple on the outer edge of the ghost. And this will um, help have it show up more. So we're just going to fill this in with purple. Again, purple's not like, it's not that bright, but you can still make your ghost with a purple glow. Now I just dabbed in all that purple around my edges. I'm going to grab my clean finger. I'm going to smudge. All right, we're going to smudge. that and I'm gonna grab um, the white paint swirl tap dab my brush grab my white paint again put my white paint where I might have lost some of my ghost from my smudging And then you have a purple glowing ghost. Um, so it's possible with the purple. I don't think it comes out as good because it's hard to get purple to look bright. You know, like they don't, and they don't have like a neon purple. You know what I mean? Like you, you see neon blue, you see neon green, you see neon yellow, um, neon pink. Like you know how like red isn't neon, right? It's a pink. That's neon. So, um, neon purple isn't really like a, um, a thing. But, you can get a purple glow on this. I, I would probably... So, there is your purple ghost. With a purple glow to him. Okay, guys? So, is it possible? Yes. Does it have the um, does it have the same impact as the bright blue and the yellow? No, but it is possible. It is possible to get a purple glow if you'd like a purple glow on your ghost. Okay, so it just doesn't 
It just doesn't have the same punch as the other colors that are, um, you know, in the neon category. So I could have done like a neon paint, you know, and if you guys have neon paints at home of 6,000%, that's what you'd want to use, you know what I'm saying? So you would be all set with that. And um, no worries, Nikki. No, I told you, every question is a good question. So um, it just doesn't have the same pop as the other guys, that's all, because I don't have a neon purple. I don't even know if they make a neon purple. So that's the only um, problem with that. But, with that being said, thank you so much for the stuff. It's, it's cute, right? It does have a little purple glow to them. You just have to uh, look really close. All right? So, it does have the purple. It does have a glow. He is glowing purple, right? 6,000%. It's just that um, it, doesn't, it doesn't carry the same pop as, as like, the neon yellows do. So... Um, that being said, guys, um, <laughs> it's cute, right? That being said, you guys are all set to be able to do ghosts and spirits and shrouded figures and doing glows and um, really cute, right? Definitely cute. I like them. I think he's cool. I like all of them. You know, obviously, if you want to add your eyes in, you could add your eyes, okay? So you just do your black paint and you can add your eyes in. Right, just dab some black on there, and then you have your uh, eyes on your ghosts. Okay, so six thousand percent. Um, right now, you can move your eyes to change the position of your ghosts. Okay, so if you notice, I did these guys kind of in the center. I only did one on the side here, and then this guy I put looking this way by putting my two dots on the side of him. All right, so you can change the way your ghost is facing just by putting the eyes in. Um, now, this is only going to have one eye. He's out of here. He's got a Halloween party to go to, so he's splitting. <laughs> um, so where you position your eyes on your ghost, um, you can change the way they're looking or where they're looking or how they're done. Okay, so I put the eyes on the side of his body. And so he's looking this way, and this guy's flying away. He only gets one. It's his profile. He's dead center. And then this guy was a profile because he's got a party to go to. All right, so that is how you would position your little eye holes. And you guys are all set. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, super duper duper cute right easy peasy lemon squeezy you can do this with the kids they'll love it because you smudge and you get to use your fingers right so you can totally do that and uh have a lot oh the reason i did this all right guys the big reveal i almost forgot <laughs> um not this friday not next friday the friday coming up after that, what's that, three weeks or whatever? Whatever it is, you guys will see the event page. I got your um, painting for you. You guys ready? You all right? Everybody at home, do a drum roll. Drum roll. Woo! Drum roll. The painting after the kitty cat. I got two reveals tonight. I got two reveals. The painting after the kitty cat. And, you, and, that, and now you know why I did what I did. So, we have our uh, campfire, um, we have our little fire ghosts going on, coming out from the flames. So, oh, you're welcome, Cynthia, no worries. So, this is the painting after the kitty cat. What? Super cute, right? So, I, I did an artist montage on it, but you guys are getting first looks. I have not shared this or posted this anywhere so it always pays to go on the lives because you guys get the tidbits you get the tidbits before um before uh everybody else does okay so we're doing a fire I, I, i've been asked to do a fire i don't know how many times so here's your fire everybody okay and we got the glow on the trees and everything else so that is going to be after the cat now 
the next reveal. You guys so excited? All right, so we got to put the card in the cards for the contest. This is like a great live, right? I'm like all excited. And then I have TikTok to do, and I'm all excited about that. So, um, love it. Awesome. All right, um, we got to do fun ghosts. And I have another reveal for you. Tina B., I hope you're still on here. You're the one that asked me for one of these eons ago. Now, this painting, we're not going to be doing the paint party until, like, November. So, this one isn't going to be until after Halloween. But it is ready. It is locked and loaded. Tina B. is still here. There you go, Tina B. <laughs> there you go. So... Our lovely little rooster will be coming up in November. All right, so you guys are getting first looks. I haven't shown this to anybody at all either. So there you go. I know you asked me for one a long time ago, and um, he's coming up in November. All right, so you're going to have to wait a minute for him. But uh, we're going to be doing a rooster. Remember the fall foliage how-to? Okay. There's a method to the madness. Remember when we did the fall foliage how-to? So now you can see why we did a fall foliage how-to. And then with the other painting, so to go in order, this is November. Then we're going to have this one in about three weeks or so. Okay. And then this one is not this Friday, but next Friday. All right. So you guys are going to be all set. And if you want to know how to paint cats, there's a how-to cats out there. Okay. So that is everything that's coming up. Eve was very productive. <laughs> so we got lots of fun things coming. And with that, I'm going to say goodnight to y'all. Because I have another video to do. And um, I don't have anything else to show you. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. And... Um, I hope you had fun tonight. I had fun making these. I had fun making these guys. So, and uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And um, enjoy it and, you know, make your own little creations with your ghosts and whatever you guys want to do, okay? So, uh, on that note, I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you so much for the stars. 590 stars. What? what? <laughs> Good night, Mary. Good night, Jill. Um, Good night, everybody. And uh, no, no party this Friday. Um, so everybody have a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend. I'm going to see you guys next Tuesday and I'm going to see you guys with the announcement of the, um, contest winner, right? So lots and lots and lots of good things coming, coming in, um, for us, for us, our fam. We got lots of great stuff coming up and happening and, um, thank you guys so much. I see all the good nights and thank yous and buys and I really appreciate that. So, you all wore my heart. You know that. Have fun. Go create. Okay? Mwah. Good night, everybody.